All right, uh, first news is out of Iran. Um, and, uh, you know, in Iran, as you know, there's the, 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 there were the protests. And the consequence of those protests have been, and I've talked about this on the show, the fact that many women in Iran now are not wearing the hijab or going out in public uh, without head covering. They're going to the mall. They're going, to, they're going uh, uh, shopping to the theater, to, to wherever they go, and then they're not wearing a hijab. And that's become somewhat of a norm uh, in Iran. And yet, um, you know, this goes against uh, Sharia law. It goes against uh, the official law of Iran. And Iran's judiciary chief, the chief of Iran's judiciary, has now threatened to prosecute, quote, without mercy, women who appear in public unveiled. I'm not going to pronounce this guy's name, but um, this threat came on the heels of a ministry, um, uh, the interior ministry statement on Thursday that reinforces the government's commitment to mandatory hijab laws. Uh, so these women are clearly violating the law. Uh, to quote again the Supreme Judge, um, unveiling is tantamount to enmity with our values. Um, uh, those, quote, who commit, whoops, what are the, yeah, those who commit such anomalous acts will be punished and will be prosecuted without mercy, he said. Uh, he didn't say what the punishment would be, but you can imagine, people have died. People have been, people, people have died over this by beatings. People have spent long times in jail. People are constantly harassed over this. Uh, so while there definitely is a growing number of women who are not wearing hijab, but a lot of unbelievably brave women who are going out in the streets, and so far uh, in the last, I'd say, couple of months, they've been able to get away with that in malls, restaurants, shops, streets, and all over the country, that might be changing, and we might see another crackdown. And the question is going to be, of course, if such a crackdown comes, will we see Chapter 2 of, uh, of the protests? Will we see Chapter 2 of kind of revolution. It is interesting, isn't it, that Saudi Arabia, one of the countries that most oppresses women in the world, um, is the one country that has become more friendly towards Iran post these protests, um, has signed a kind of a, a, a normalization agreement with Iran in, in China with the Chinese backing post these protests. Uh, so you can, you can expect the barbarians of the world to unite together during times of hardship, um, and, uh, and yet we will continue to delude ourselves and pretend that these people are our friends and our allies. All right, so that's kind of a, a sad and disappointing um, update from, um, from Iran. And of course, um, sad because we hoped, I hoped, some of us hoped, that uh, the protest would actually result in, in sustained and ult uh, freedom, uh, greater freedom and ultimately a, a complete replacement of the regime. That unfortunately does not seem to be happening at this point. Hopefully it's weakened the regime a little bit and that we will see some changes. All right. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.